Hello and welcome to the last in the series of product design and manufacturing collection, Inventor Add-ins. Next up we have Inventor Nastran. In this short presentation today, we will only be scratching the surface of Inventor Nastran's capabilities. Let's take a look at Inventor Nastran embedded directly inside of Inventor. But first off, let's select the model state in which we require for our simulation turning off all those unnecessary components and being able to utilize the capabilities of model states directly inside Inventor and Inventor Nastran. As the application is activated, you'll now see that all of our box sections have now been changed into beam elements and a material has been assigned directly from Inventor materials. Now let's apply a load to our table. We do this by specifying the load command and then selecting the type of force we require to apply to our model. Entering in newtons of force, in this instance, minus 5,000 newtons. We're now going to select each phase to apply our force. It's going to be an individual force and not a total force in this instance, so every plate has minus 5,000 newtons applied. Click OK. Because weight is an important factor within the simulation, we're now going to add gravity into our study. Once applied the gravity, you'll see that it's indicated in the bottom right with the gravity symbol. Let's now add the contacts into our simulation. We could do this automatically or manually. So let's use manual in this instance and selecting the type to be edge to surface. Now this is the clumsiest method of all, going through individually selecting each individual face and every line entry. As I said before, this can be automatic, but I want to be sure that the correct edges and the correct objects have been selected for my simulation. Now making this look as clumsy as possible, I will select all the different lines which represent our beams. And I've also selected the bottom faces of our model. We can window select, and we can click and select. Once happy that all objects have been selected, oh, missed one. When we're happy with that, we're now going to specify the max activation distance to be 20 mil. Now let's apply the constraints. Using the constraint tool, we'll now select each individual point in which we're wishing to apply a constraint. In this instance, it's representing the table is constrained to the floor. We can fix this in place and unlike Inventor simulation, we can have a multitude of options to apply. So let's just fix this in place and select OK. Now we need to specify the mesh. And we do this by going into mesh settings and selecting the element size. Now this is automatic at the moment, but we can specify a finer mesh of 30 if required. Let's specify parabolic. We are now ready the to start the solve and generate our mesh. Once it's finished applying the mesh, Invent and Astran will now run through the solve in no time at all. On clicking OK, we are now met with the results of the simulation. Taking a look under each subcase, we can now see the results. Currently set to Von Mises, switched over to Displacement. And for the purpose of this presentation, we're just going to animate the results. I hope you found this presentation useful. It's the last in the series covering product design and manufacturing collections, Inventor Add-ins. To learn more, join me next month for the Product Design and Manufacturing Collection Inventor Add-ins webinar. Thank you.